Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Stoneblocks. How are you doing? So, this episode I want to sort out our power issues and also if possible make an applied energistic system. I'm not sure if I'll be successful, but uh, I will try. Also, did you know that bonsai trees are a thing in this pack? I don't have to plant trees anymore. That is lovely. All I needed was just a few hoppers and we had plenty of iron, so yeah. Before we start, I made some stuff, quintuple compressed cobblestone, yes, two of them. So we are able to make this and we can hand this one over because I'm not sure if uh, I can submit a damaged one. So we just detect this one and is it detected? Yep. Then we change these 10. This will take durability damage and I'm not sure if it's acceptable to the questing system. So detect it again and give me a loot chest. Yes, this quest is complete. Perfect. Uh, what did we get? Growth crystal. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Um, also, I have uh, sorted out our things for the mob quest, mob farm quest, so we can also hand this one in. Maybe I should just select the middle one because that's the only one which seemed to work. And what do we get? Black Lotus, perfect. So this is the mining dimension, finally. And it's getting day, so we can do some exploring here and see what's going on and maybe get some ores. I don't think mobs are spawning in this dimension, so that should be nice. Um, also another problem is that there are no neutral mobs. No cows, no sheep, no chickens. Okay, maybe I should open this. Oh! I found Nemo! Okay, I'll uh, walk around here and see what I can find. Generally, this was a very successful journey. We have more than 120 of iron, we have some gold, we have some tin, and we have some silver. Also, I managed to get a lot of clay, which I hate making clay in this pack. So, um, I'll process the ores and I will bring you back. I know that last episode I said that I'm not a fan of magmatic dynamos, but I have an idea which might work and it might be the most efficient power source that we can ever have. So right now we're using a block of eulorium to generate lava. There is an item from mechanism called the superheating element and that is a rate, triple the rate of eulorium. So we would be able to generate lava very fast. I have already made another cobblestone generator and I have saved a lot of nickel. And if we mix it with iron, we will get a lot of invar because we are going to need a lot of invar in order to make the magmatic dynamos. If I'm not mistaken, yes, we need an invar gear and invar ingots. And this is just silver, right? Yeah. So let me get crafting and I'll be back. When you have mechanism in the pack, making steel is very easy because we're going to need one steel for each uh, superheated element. So we just put coal and iron inside and we have to provide this with power. I just stole it from our automatic save and luckily we also got some upgrades. So this will be done fast. I'm putting it far away because this is the loudest thing that mechanism has ever created. I hate this. Especially the crusher, that's the worst. We just have to infuse it again with coal in order to get steel dust. And we just have to put that into a steel melter or inside a furnace. I am not sure. I think a furnace should work. Yes. And this is how fast we are generating lava. That is perfect. Look, it's already one bucket. And eight magmatic dynamos. Yes. Okay, the setup is complete. We have eight magmatic dynamos. We have plenty of lava. We did not have a flux duct, so I'm using the cryo stabilized flux duct that we got from a reward. 
I made some reinforced servos by making electrum in the smeltery and this should be working very fine. We can also upgrade them, right? Uh, you need invar and bronze and this one, okay, that would be a challenge. But I can make the invar kit. It took me a very long time because I had to sift for redstone and silver. But we have our reinforced kits, like hardened kits, sorry, and one augment for each one, so they should generate slightly more RF. 80. So this entire setup makes 640 RF per tick? It's not much, but it's okay, it's the start. I don't like sieving, so I have an idea. I want to make a quarry from RF tools and in order to power it, I'm going to use these solar panels. Uh, the first year is very easy, the only expensive part is redstone which we have abundant of, the rest is just glass and iron, the second one is just the same with just a piston and if I make 64 of the tier 1, I will have 8 of the tier 2 and I can make... Uh, Two of the tier 3 which I think the output is double so I will have four tier 3 ones and that will give me 1000 RF that should be enough to power it and the mining dimension is uh, we have daytime there it's not a cave so it should not be a problem I have already prepared everything so the builder there's no achievement for it do I have to put it down ah yeah the quarry card and no uh, do you do that ah, it does that automatically ah okay then I, I don't need the dirt so now I just have to get to the grinding part of making the solar panels I'll be right back 64 tier 1 and we just hand them over like so no, uh, power generation, this one, um, I have them, ah, okay, speed upgrade, <laughs> that's useless, tier 2, 8 of them, and we also hand them in, like, so, yep, good, what do you give me, compact giants, uh, yeah, maybe later on. And tier 3. Oh, only two of them. Okay, they changed the recipe, I guess. Well, it's okay. 500 RF should be good enough. And we made two of them, so... You're not working? Ah. Okay, that's good enough for me. And we also check you out. Ah, Blacker Lotus. That is also nice. We put you here. Good. Alright guys, I came to the mining dimension. I set up the quarry card. It goes to... Um, you can set the dimensions for 256 blocks by 256 blocks. It should be 80 blocks deep and the offset is minus 41. And if I put it inside the quarry and ask it to show, show me a schematic you can see that it starts from there. I don't want it to collect all the plants and everything. Also, um, another thing is that you can set filters to this so it will avoid uh, stone, cobblestone, basically anything that we don't need, which is junk. So we put it inside and we put an engine chest so that we can get it uh, at our home base and we press start. No, ignore, start. Okay, it started. Yes, we are getting ores. It ran out of power. <laughs> uh, I need more of those. How much do you need? I think it's 300 RF per block. So, yeah. I need more of those. I'll be right back. Um, I just got a legendary loot bag from uh, one of these evolved endermen. This is the only thing inside. 
and two more solar panels. I do not have any more resources to make more of these, so I hope they will be enough. Well, I had to do a little bit more saving because I ran out of lapis, but now I can make solar panel tier 4. Um, this was not very difficult and it will give me two instead of one, so we will have 2048 RF per tick instead of just 1000. That's perfect. And we just have to hand it in because uh, it would be difficult to make another one. And my button is not working. Okay. It's not enough, but it's definitely working faster. The only concern is that when you right click on them, it will tell you that it's generating 128 FE per tick. Uh, I don't know, is something wrong with them? I don't know, it, it's working, I, I don't care. It's not the best, but it's producing resources, and to be honest with you, it's producing much more resources than I would get by just sieving. And especially it's giving me clay. I hate making clay here. It's a pain. Actually, it's a pain to make dust, and you need a lot of dust to make clay, so yeah. Um, I think one item that I should do is to improve our smeltery, um, because this is too small, and now that we're getting ores, ore dabbling is uh, getting important. I just realized that we have mechanism in the pack, so why not make an enrichment chamber and an energized smelter? We can upgrade them later on to factories. Maybe I can actually do it now. So it's tier at mechanism. Basic tier is basically nothing. Even I can make it to advanced tier. Why didn't I do that? Okay, I'll be right back. So one enrichment chamber and one smelting factory and we upgrade them to advanced. They have power and if I provide it with iron, this should double it, the other one will smelt it and put it inside the chest. That is our ore doubling which is also very loud. Uh, I have to make upgrades for it and uh, yeah, I don't have enough resources. We have to wait. Alright guys, it's been a few hours later and as you can see, I've been slightly busy. So I made a roof, I made some uh, frames for the doors, uh, these are supposed to be doors, these are supposed to be rooms but they're not finished yet. I made uh, hempcrete, which is my favorite block in this game. Uh, hemp actually does not have a recipe in this mod pack. So what I did is that I went to the mining dimension, I bone milled the grass and when you break the grass, there is a chance that you will get some hemp seeds. Um, if you do not have access to the mining dimension, that's also easy because I think there is a grass seed which you can get from sieving dirt. Yes. Uh, so if you use a string mesh and you sieve dirt, you will get some grass seeds. You put it on dirt, you will have grass in your plain cave. Um, I needed some decorations because this was getting so boring. I also tried to figure out a decoration for our farm. Um, we don't have that many blocks, but for now this will do. This is my small hemp farm and this is my potato farm. Um, I cannot do anything about the sound from the nether portal, so that's going to stay there. Also, in order to get into uh, Applied Logistics, I had to do a bunch of quests off camera. I needed to make a uh, Certus Court Seed, which is Tier 3. So I had to do all the uh, Tier 2, Tier 3 and the seeds and everything. So those are the quests done, also the Infusion Stone. Then I think I managed to make End Stone, which is also very easy. You just need a Stone Barrel, you put Glowstone in the Lava and you get End Stone. For Skystone, you put the dust inside lava and you get Skystone. So I also made the Inscriber and also knocked out a bunch of quests in... Actually just one I think, yeah. I just made the Inscriber. So now we have to make the presses. And in order to make the presses, we're going to need um, the Essence. So this is why I made that, um, the seed. So we will have these. This is easy, this is easy, this is easy, and you need a pure Certus Enrichment Chamber. I have an Enrichment Chamber. Uh, okay, so this is also easy. <laughs> uh, what I have planned is that we will just um, 
put it here and we have mystical fertilizers so okay that's actually faster than i thought i thought it will give me like the effect of a bone meal but this is much better cool that is very cool i think we have all the essence we need yeah we needed uh, 32 we have 64 perfect i can now make the inscribers just as a curiosity will you actually work <laughs> it does pure certus quartz oh my goodness do you also do that for pure flux crystals or <laughs> okay i think someone missed something <laughs> this is easy and we have all the inscribers the quest is complete and i am very happy we started with applied energistics i will try to progress a little bit in between episodes um, but not too much maybe um, because i don't have enough resources anyway and also our quarry has a slight problem it's not generating all the ores for instance i don't get osmium i don't get quartz i don't get i mean certus quartz and a bunch of other things which i think um, they forgot to include it in the uh, generation table or whatever it's called yeah so, so that happens oh also i wanted to tell you that making silicon is actually easy you don't have to go with the ender io version which i just clicked on it you can go with the refined storage which is just nether quartz in a furnace and you get a silicon and it's or dictionary for silicon so you can convert them easily also let's see what we get Ooh, ultimate speed upgrades finally an improvement black lotus black lotus black lotus i'm guessing this is also black lotus oh no okay velocity and efficiency potency would have been better but okay that's crap diamond shield yes um, yeah i need it a lot and useless okay And I also think that it's time to wrap up the episode before it gets super long. I have to work a little bit off camera and get closer to applied energistics. So I want to thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.